क्लास नाइन यूनिट सेवन इकोलॉजी एंड एनवायरनमेंट इकोलॉजी मीन्स द स्टडी ऑफ द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन लिविंग थिंग्स एंड देयर एनवायरनमेंट एंड एनवायरनमेंट मीन्स सराउंडिंग्स लुक एट द पिक्चर एंड टॉक अबाउट द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ द एनवायरनमेंट components it means parts so the parts of the environment this is our earth the planet our earth or our environment is made of five major components these are biosphere lithosphere hydrosphere ecosphere atmosphere biosphere biosphere is all areas of the planet where whole life is present or where the whole life is possible that component is biosphere lithosphere the crust or the earth's topmost layer composed of mineral it is called lithosphere hydrosphere look at this hydro hydro means water so total amount of water on a planet is called hydrosphere ecosphere the planetary ecosystem the planetary ecosystem consisting of all organisms and their environment atmosphere gaseous layer that surrounds the planet in a different types of gases are found in this component such as oxygen nitrogen carbon dioxide etc reading one answer these questions what preparations do you and your family make as the winter season approaches so my family and i make the following preparations as the winter season approaches we purchase winter clothes beforehand such as heavy coats woolen sweaters and trousers beanies and socks so we can stay warm during winter age our skin gets dry and lips get chapped during winter we also buy some moisturizing creams and lip balms this helps dehydrate our skins fights dryness and keeps our lips soft furthermore we also set up some home appliances useful for winter such as heater water heater electric kettle etc b how do animals and birds protect themselves from the cold so animals and birds protect themselves from the cold doing many different and amazing things birds migrate to warmer places some animals make changes in their behavior or bodies for adaptation to the changing weather some animals find shelter in holes of trees logs under rocks under leaves or underground some build tunnels and live there example mice few insects remain active during winter some animals hibernate during winter it means they go to deep sleep during winter cold blooded animals find shelter in holes or burrows like fish frogs snakes turtles they also move to the bottom of lakes and ponds when winter gets colder where they hide under rocks logs fallen leaves and Fall. even bury themselves in mud find the words from the text that have the following meanings a shop that sells 
food and other things used in homes grocery store grocery store related to the regions around the north pole arctic arctic and underground passage underground passage tunnel tunnel to find the right way to deal with a difficult situation navigate navigate a, per a person who works on a ship is a member of the crew sailor 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 to change behavior in order to deal more successfully with a new situation adapt 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 a, a, a very small green or yellow plant that spreads over wet surfaces rocks trees etc moss 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 to gather closely together usually because of cold or fear huddle 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 read the paragraphs a to e and match them to the suitable titles paragraph a migration to new places paragraph a migration to new places paragraph b adaptation to new weather at paragraph c living in underground holes paragraph d going into a deep sleep going into a deep sleep paragraph e other ways to survive true or false animals wear thick coats to protect themselves from the cold and answer is false no animals wear any clothes at all flying in flocks helps birds protect themselves from the cold again answer is false it does not help them rather it helps them to avoid danger it does not protect them from the cold birds do not travel far to avoid the cold again answer is false they actually do travel far as well some animals collect extra food for winter answer is true yep some animals collect extra food so they can eat during winter snow fleas hibernate in winter snow fleas hibernate in winter answer is false answer is false why because they remain active during winter they do not go to deep sleep rather they remain active cold water actually holds more oxygen that's why it will be easier for some animals to breathe there so cold water makes it difficult for some animals to breathe and so it's false because why do birds migrate in groups if you write the first answer your answer will be acceptable however i recommend you to write the second answer so here suggested answer it is dangerous for a bird to migrate alone therefore birds migrate in group to avoid danger what controls the migration cycle of birds changes in the amount of daylight and the weather control the migration cycle of birds how do birds find the same place for migration each year birds find the same place for migration each year by navigating like sailors using the sun moon stars for direction and using the earth's magnetic field with the help of compass they have in their brain why do you think squirrels and mice huddle close together in winter i think squirrels and mice huddle close together in winter to stay warm 
animals maintain energy during hibernation using little energy and using the body fat as energy that they have stored during autumn by eating extra food. How do frogs, turtles and fish change their habitats to survive in winter? Frogs, turtles and fish change their habitats to survive in winter, moving to the bottom of lakes and ponds where they hide under rocks, logs or fallen leaves and, and, and bury themselves in the mud. What do people do to avoid cold weather? Talk to your friends. To avoid cold weather, people live in warm houses. Oh. They wear heavy coats when they step outside and then they eat warm foods drink warm soup drink hot drinks or hot water most people sit near the fire pit in morning or evening and some people even sleep next to fire at night during winter to keep themselves warm rowdy people for example grammar one Study the following sentences. A. If you hit snow, it melts. B. If it rains, you will get wet. So these are all conditional sentences. So what is conditional sentence? My dear students, conditional sentences are called if sentences. And these if sentences are those sentences that express conditions. For an example, look at this question number C. If you don't hurry, that look, this is condition. If you don't hurry, then you will miss the bus. So this is condition. And then second clause is your result. So these if sentences are called conditional sentences. And these conditional sentences are those sentences that express conditions. And there are altogether five types of conditional sentences. First, zero conditional. Second, first conditional. Third, second conditional. Fourth, third conditional. And fifth, mixed conditional. My students, here you have to learn about these two conditionals only. First one, zero conditional. Second one, first conditional. So, zero conditional are those sentences, those if sentences that we use to talk about um, things that are generally true. So, we use, we use the first conditional sentence to talk about general truth. For an example, if you hit snow, it melts. So, structure if plus simple present plus simple present like 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 if you want to borrow a book from the library so your library card so here this one is if and this one you want to borrow a book from the library this is simple present and then result so your card or condition this is again simple present next first conditional and the structure if plus simple present plus simple future example look at this if it rains this is condition if it rains you will get wet we use this first conditional to talk about future situations this is future situation look at this if you don't hurry you will miss the bus this is this is condition and this is future situation or future result if you don't do this this will happen if you don't do that this this will happen well now let's read one by one if you hit snow it melts if plus simple present plus simple present this is 
for a zero conditional zero question number B if it rains you will get wet if so if plus simple simple present plus simple future so this is our type 2 first conditional sentence question number C if you don't hurry you will miss the bus if you don't hurry you will miss the bus so here if plus simple present plus simple future will plus verb one simple future hence this is first conditional question number d what will you do so what will you do will plus do that means simple future if you miss the plane miss verb one simple present so here here simple future plus simple present this is again first conditional sentence e i may finish that letter if i have time so he so here again first sentence simple present and then if sentence also in simple present hence this is our zero conditional next if you want to borrow a book from the library so your library card so if plus simple present plus simple present therefore this is zero conditional water changes into vapor if it is heated so water changes into vapor this is simple present and if plus again simple present therefore this is zero conditional question number b use the correct form of the verbs from the brackets to complete the sentences question number a if you call me i will come so this is your answer i will so remember the structure here zero conditional if plus simple present plus simple present and first conditional if plus simple present plus simple future so your question a to j yeah here this except the last one all of these sentences are first conditional and the last one is zero conditional this so let's read one by one with answers question number a if you call me i mm, come so answer is if you call me i will come question number b if you mm, i'll call the police and answer if you do not leave i'll call the police question number c somebody mm, if you make a mistake and your answer will be somebody will notice if you make a mistake question number d if i see her i mm, her to call you and your answer is if i see her i will tell her to call you question number e c mm, very angry if you don't apologize and answer is c will be very angry if you don't apologize question number f they will be happy if we mm, them to the party and answer they will be happy if we invite them to the party question number g will they pay any more if i mm, harder and your answer is will they pay any more if i work harder if you don't lock your bicycle someone does it 
and your answer is if you don't lock your bicycle someone will steal it question number i i you some money if you promise not to waste it and your answer i will lend you some money if you promise not to waste it second last unless you use your english it mm, and your answer unless you use your english it will not improve last one you must study hard if you mm, to join college and your answer you must study hard if you want to join college writing one read the following paragraph and answer the questions so this is a paragraph and in the paragraph there will be main idea or topic sentence which is the first sentence here this one and then there will be supporting details or supporting ideas which support the main idea and then at last there will be conclusion so this this the first yellow highlighted sentence is your topic sentence or main idea and then these two green sentences this one and this one are the supporting details which supports the first sentence and then last this pink highlighted sentence is the conclusion so let's discuss the questions question the first question which is the topic sentence or main idea of the paragraph where is it stated and your answer the first sentence this one the first sentence is the first sentence is the topic sentence or main idea of the paragraph and it is stated at the beginning of the paragraph next what details does the writer use to support the main idea what details does the writer use to support the main idea and answer the writer has used the following details to support the main idea first one the city transportation systems daily schedules are totally unreliable second second it is not unusual for a bus driver to pass by groups of people waiting for the bus because he wants to make up for the lost time question number c underline the conclusion of the paragraph which i have already done so if this one is your conclusion you have to underline but make sure your line will be straight straight what ought to be the topic of this paragraph okay the topic of this paragraph ought to be cities poor public transportation next write similar paragraphs on the following topics in about 100 words a deforestation b endangered animals and sample answer deforestation the clearance of forest areas has caused famine in our country trees absorbs carbon dioxide accumulate greenhouse gases which save our planet from overheating similarly forest transport large quantities of water into atmosphere by plant transpiration however large number of trees have been cut down and forest areas have been turned into bare lands 
contributing to climate change, global warming, and depletion of water resources. Depletion of water resources has taken its toll on agriculture, diminishing crop cultivation and food production nationwide. And now, people are unable to access adequate food. As a result, people are suffering from thirst, hunger, and malnutrition. Few have lost their lives just because there is no enough water to quench people's thirst. No, no adequate food to feed people to set their hungers in the nation. If this issue is not solved, more people will have malnutrition and more people will die before their time. Hence, not only immediate actions, but also corrective measures must be taken. Next topic, endangered animals. And, and the answer goes like this. Animals such as red panda, giant panda, tiger, snow leopard, swamp deer, and many more animals are in verge of dying. But why so many animals are dying out? We all know animals are crucial for the balanced ecosystem. It also beautifies our earth. Hence, they must be preserved. But how can we stop them from dying out, especially the endangered animals? Animal, animals die out because of not only natural phenomenon, but also human activities. When other species termed as alien species are overpopulated in the environment, they harm the native species. Human activities for the survival such as harvesting natural resources, agriculture and farming destroy the natural habitats of animals. Hence, animals resided there die. And the selfish activities of humans like poaching and smuggling greatly threat their lives. In order to stop these endangered animals from extinction, these human activities must be stopped although invasion of new species cannot be stopped.